Let's say, uh, do you mind, was it page 30? Was it this number here that is supposed to be 5? Was it that one you told me? But go to page 30 and it's supposed to be a 5 there. Check if that is not a 5. Go to page 30. Just let's address the mistakes. Page 30, was that a 5? Do you have a 5 in your notes? What do you have in your notes? What? Page 30. 5, Gabriel, you're saying 5? Okay, because that looks like I kind of uh, corrected that. Althea, which one was it? Page 25. Check these numbers. See if you got that right. Yeah, so this is supposed to be a 36. And now you know why. This is this is actually, this was my original was sitting right beside me here. Uh, but I fixed it on the notes that I gave you, it's 36. Okay, so it's 36. Make sure you fix that. This is on page 25. And on page 22, can you go to page 22 and make sure that, I think, was it the outliers that I have different from you? What do you have for outliers on page 22? Page 22. Is it five for you? It's four for you. It was five. If you do the math, if you add this all up, I made a mistake here. This was supposed to be 13, which then affected the outliers. So you have to fix that. Okay, this is on page 22. Right. So let's go to page 23 here. 23. Everybody, um, so I did not post the key to this one. Okay, so now you get the key. Uh, I'm just gonna go to 23. This is, um, okay. So remember, you focus on the Venn diagram, okay? If the Venn diagram, then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I can't do this. Then maybe checks like, oh, what are they asking me for, right? Do I need to do a little bit of work? Just show me the work, okay? Let me see what you're doing and the rest should be fine. So we have uh, 10, right? We have everybody is at least one. So there are no outliers, right? If you see that, that is code for no outliers. Everything is going to be within the sets that are present. So we have squash, racquetball, tennis. So we've got tennis here, tennis and racquetball. So sorry, tennis, let's go TNR, TNR, T and S, right? Tennis and squash, squash and racquetball. Oh, there's an or, do you see that? And, and, or. That stands for union. So what it's saying here, the, ra the union of racquetball and te or tennis would be 84, that's gonna be interesting. 68 play tennis, uh, squash or tennis. So squash or tennis. And then four play all three, that's your middle, right? That's the center, which is nice to have, okay? So I'm going to quickly draw my Venn diagram here. I'm going to have my universal around it. Um, I don't know the universal just yet, but I'm going to put that there. And so I have squash, racquetball, and tennis. in no particular order. I don't care which order you do this. Um, so 43 for tennis, let's put that down. That goes right here, not inside. 
if it had said, folks, uh, 43 play only tennis, only tennis, then that is code for here, goes in this section right here. Or if it had, if it would say 43 play tennis and racquetball, but not squash. You hear what I'm saying? Tennis and racquetball, but not squash. Where would that go? That would only be in here. Okay, so it's these two, but not that one. Okay, so you got to watch out. 11, play tennis and racquetball. So where's T and R? It's right here. So we're going to put that 11 there. I put the middle in there already. 7, play tennis and squash. So this is 7. 6, play squash and racquetball. So this is 6. 84, I'm not going to put that anywhere. Uh, 68 squash or tennis I'm not gonna put that anywhere just yet so now let's fill it in so I'm, I'm switching to pen because now that I've I've gathered as much information as I can I put two in here right because two and four add up to six this would be three and this would be seven so I have that figured out can I do a little bit more yeah I can right you have this number so I'm gonna go 43 minus 7, that is 36, minus 11, that's 25. No, is that right? 43 minus 7 is 36. Minus 7, that's all, of, that's my mistake, guys. Right, so 7, take away the 7, and then take away another 7. Okay, so what is that? Minus 14, right? So 43 minus 14, uh, 29. Okay? 29. Uh, can I do anything else? I don't know this and I don't know that. So you're kind of stuck right now. That's when you need to start uh, exploring these ones, the ors. Right? That one is going to be my first go-to. Let's see. Um, I want to back up here. Would it be smart um, or would it matter if I started with this one or this one? It, the answer is no, because watch this. T is known, right? So I know T and I know T for either one of them. So I, can, I could start with either one of them. Okay. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go over and I'm going to say that the union of R and T, R and T would be a union. Let me use uh, this highlighter, the yellow. If I were to unite them, I would do this. Okay. So I know that everything in all these sections in here, R and R or T, if I were to unite them, it would be all of these, and that adds up to 84, correct? It's Thursday, guys, so pay attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go 84, right, minus, so I'm going to go, I'm going to take away the 43, and then I'm going to take away, what else do I need to take away? If I take away the 43, I still need to take away that 2, right? And that gives me 39. So this is how I figured out the 39. So basically, I know that the union is supposed to be 84, right? I'm told. So because I know everything except for this section, I'm just going to start taking away this from 84 to get me that 39. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay. So now I can actually fill in more. I can figure out R. So I'm going to go just add up all these sections here. So uh, this is 6 and 7 is 13. Okay. And 39, so that's 52. I get 52 there. If I add up all these inside of R. Next, I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to use the other OR. All right, I'm going to do that.
that. And so that's a different highlighter. I'm going to use green. Okay. A union of S or T. So this is, it's, we're talking about the union and don't overlap. Okay. Just try your best not to do that. Right. So it's saying that if I were to unite these two, I add up 68. So I'm going to go 68 minus everything that I do know. So I'm going to go 68 minus 43, right? This whole circle here is 43 minus the 2 here. And that ends up being 23. Very important. Okay, so I've done that now. And now I can answer S. So it's basically just 6 and 3 is 9 plus 23 is 32. Okay. And now you've basically solved it. And so see if there's something that you need to answer specifically. How many members are there? How many members are there? They're asking for universal right number of members it's basically the universal and we know i'm going to put this in brackets we know that it's all of the sections inside because we were told there are no outliers so in this case the universal will be just adding everything up okay so i added up 110 okay so let's see here. I'm just going to double check because uh, my track record isn't really good right now. So 32, right? All of this. Plus 29, plus 7, plus 39. Let me just check here. Are we good? I add up 107, but I just want to double check. So I'm going to go with uh, 32, right? This whole thing, plus 29, plus 7, plus 39. I get 107. So that's my universal. 32 plus 29 plus 7 plus 39, I get 107 members. Okay. 107 is my universal. So if you're ever asked to complete a, a Venn diagram, maybe you need to do a little bit of extra work and then come back and fill in everything that needs to be filled in. Okay, so outliers if it applies, a universal if it applies, whatever. So uh, why don't you uh, try this one right now? Because this is very similar to what we just did. Would you be able to do that question right there? Okay. So go ahead and try that one. I'll pause this. I don't have the key in front of me right now. What's the, anybody willing to share their total and see if we can verify that with somebody else? What's the total here? 218? 218? 218? 218, everybody's agreeing? Yeah. That's awesome. See, that's what I'm gonna do from now, just, uh, just ask students to give me the right answer. So because it's so similar, I wanna go on to the next, okay? So keep going. Type 3 is just staring at us right now, so we'll uh, just uh, let it be for a bit. But what about um, this one? 
That one is also very similar. I want to do uh, one that's a bit more challenging. Hundred only cycle and use transit. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to type 3 right now because I feel like I'm going to assign this other one on page 32 for you to do. So let's go to page 26 and start type 3. Okay, Stop that video.